What's up guys? All right. I may, may have just found the best range holster that you can get. True, true. Maybe the best range holster ever. Um, what are we talking about? We're talking about the Black Hawk Omnivore. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, the Omnivore. Uh, this right here is actually what it looks like. It does come with belt attachments. I'll show you that here in a minute. It does have kind of like a rubbery feeling right here. And some of y'all may have never heard of this and some of y'all may have one. But this, this could possibly be the best range holster. Now, this isn't something that I'm going to use or carry or something like that. I have Safari Land holsters. I have touched and tactical holsters that have far better retention than this. But um, this does have retention right here. It does uh, grab onto a light. I'll explain how that works here in just a minute. Let me show you what comes in the box. When the box shows up, it'll come like this. I'll just slide this piece off. You have some instructions that I did have to look at a little bit. Um, you do have like a belt attachment, whereas I used the um, paddle attachment. I figured it'd be quicker on and off like that since I wouldn't have to run my belt through the loops. And this is something, or this isn't something I'm going to carry, so I didn't need a more permanent attachment. It does come with these little pieces right here that you can hook into the back of this for like a one and a half inch, two inch, one three quarter inch belt. But I chose to not do that because it's just gonna be a range um, holster. Now, one thing I did think was very cool. This comes in like way down here and it comes with like these little spacers that you can put on this. I have the tall one on it right here. So it's easier to um, defeat the retention on this, since it is just a range holster, I wanted the easiest way to uh, to actually draw the gun out of the holster. But let me show you something that's really cool about this and why I think this may be the only range holster you need, especially if you're a YouTuber. When I go do videos, I don't just take one gun. I usually take like five or six because I have to drive like 45 minutes away to an, an hour, depending on if there's traffic or you know raining or something like that. But usually about 45 minutes-ish away to do videos. So I try to shoot several videos at a time so that I don't have to drive that every day or every other day. So since I take more than one gun, let's take, and all these guns have been safety checked. I'm not gonna safety check all of them. I have safety checked all of them. And you're on that side of the camera, so you're fine. But I'm going to take this Dynamic Weapon Solutions uh, Glock right here. Go check them out if you haven't. They're a big supporter of the channel. They do my slide milling and stuff like that. You can see here some of the work they do. Awesome job. Awesome work on this Glock Gen 4 slide here. I just sent this slide in and they milled it for me. Um, this is a, their a Mark III Reaper slide. I, bl I believe that's what it's called. And uh, I'm running a silencer code barrel. But you can see right here that I do have an X300 on this. It's an A. It does have the quick attach, which I believe this is what makes this holster so amazing. You can also get this holster for like stream lights and stuff like that. But um, since the Surefire actually offers a quick detach method as well, um, I don't have to have any tools or something to take this off. I think this is the way to go. Now, let me show you this. So a lot of holsters will fit, of course, Glock 19s very popular gun. Then you push this down, it defeats the retention, the gun comes right out. But let's say I'm done doing my Dynamic Weapon Solutions Glock review, and next I want to move to a SIG X5 Legion, which is something that I just actually reviewed the other day and haven't got the video edited yet, so look out for that video. But I wish I would've had this holster because I just got this in. So now we have the X5 Legion locks in place as well, then comes right out. That was a little harder to get out, but it's probably because I didn't actually have it on. Then let's say I want to try my P10C. Now I will say the light isn't on, that did lock in. Um, it wasn't locked in when I first put it on there because sometimes you have to adjust these, but I've got the universal mount on this, which fits uh, most guns. Uh, let's try the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. Locks right in, comes right out. 
Next, we are going to do a Walther PDP. Perfect, no problems at all. I uh, got a couple more here to try, and the last one kind of surprised me. That is the one that actually surprised me. Here is my HK VP9. No issues there at all. This is the one that surprised me. My HK USP with the G, G, and G, I think it is, a uh, rail adapter, because these have like a, a proprietary rail system, so you have to buy these rail adapters to be able to mount regular lights to these. But check this out. It even fits the USP full size. I'm sure it would fit the compact as well if you have, if you could fit a rail adapter on it. I can't, I can't remember. I don't think they have rail adapters for the small ones, or at least I don't think they make them anymore. But you can see that rail adapter there, which would make this gun thicker and make this hang down. But there is enough room in this holster for the USP full size with a Surefire X300 to fit in here and hold a retention, which is amazing. I, I, I was really shocked by that. I, I tried that because I was like, I'm curious if that works. And it did. So you can see why if you take several guns to the range and you have, especially I got an X300 um, U, not the B with the button, but the U where it has the spring loaded quick attach or detach system on it, that this right here could be one of your best friends at the range because you don't have to keep switching out holsters. Now, of course I have really, you know, nice appendix rigs that I carry. Like I said, this isn't something that I would specifically maybe carry, but I can use this for every gun, basically, that this right here, everything I tried anyway that had this on it fit in this holster. That right there, like I said, is amazing. And to me, to me, this is the best range holster that money can buy because of that. Because anytime I go to the range and I'm doing these videos and stuff like that, I'm always trying to figure out what to do with my gun. I set it down on table. I'm trying to hold it underneath my arm while I'm doing something. I'm, you know, it's, it's always unloaded when I'm doing it. I stick it in a cargo pocket. I, I'm trying to figure out something to do with it. Now, one holster, one stop shop does it all. And uh, I think Blackhawk did a good job with this. And, and tell you the truth about it, it's a very thick Kydex or plastic or whatever it's made out of. It seems to be made really well. I really like the retention defeat button right here. Way better than like their Serpa system where people accidentally shoot themselves in the knee and the foot and stuff like that. Uh, because where you push on that is exactly where your trigger is at when you pull it out and you know, um, it has a lot of adjustments on the back. Here's where you put those little wings at if you wanted to actually carry it and it not move around because if you could you know, pick what size your belt is and it would hold it better. You have different canned positions that you can have it, which I just have mine straight up and down. Again, I think it's made well. I like this rubbery feeling on it and uh, it just feels like a solid piece of gear. And uh, I think it could be your, one of your best friends at the range just because of how convenient it is. Again, um, I just picked this up on Amazon and the best part is it was like $40, $40. I mean, that is nuts. That is cheap, that's cheap as dirt. I mean, that's crazy. Um, so I, I don't have an Amazon store or nothing. I probably need to get one for, you know, stuff like this. So y'all can go pick it up if you want to. But if you just go on there and, uh, search Blackhawk Omnivore, um, it'll pop right up. And like I said, they have a few different options for different lights. So if you prefer the Streamlight TLR1, you can get it for that. If you have this one, you can get it for that. Now, this, I do want to say, this does say right here, that it says, where was that? X300U-A. Um, it does not fit the B. It does not fit my B. I have the one with the screw on. That would not go in it. But this one works on everything I put it on. So especially if you have this light, um, probably worth buying this holster. If you're a YouTuber and you don't have this light and you do as many videos as I do in one day, it's probably worth buying this light and this holster just to make your life a little easier. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel, especially with the gun content because 
YouTube really doesn't like this. It's, they, they demonetize all the videos and then I ask for a uh, review and they usually give me my monetization back, but it's usually after the first day. And uh, most of the views come in your first day. So you all leaving a comment and liking the video and sharing the video and stuff like that really helps out a lot and I appreciate it. I love you guys. We'll see you next time.